Hi Aries, welcome to your next 48 tarot card reading. I hope you are doing well. Let's see what the energies are coming in for you, Aries. Till Friday the 8th. Energies for Aries. Till Friday the 8th. Energies for Aries. Energies for Aries. Energies for Aries. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. Self-sufficiency, independence, having a life of comfort. Achieving independence, financial stability. Okay, it's coming in for Aries. It's coming in for Aries. Coming in for Aries till Friday the 8th. Wow, Ten of Swords tried to flip, but let's see. The ending of a hard time. One more. Okay. What are we getting here for you, Aries? Ace of Wands. Something exciting. Could be a new spark. Could be some kind of a trigger. Something that is new and lights the fire in within you. Justice card. Fairness, balance, equality, a wrong made right. The sword and the scales. So this has to do with the energy of the court system or people where things are balanced. They're made fair. Okay. This could also be the, the most dominant energy right now. Libra energy. So we do have the moon in Libra. We have the sun in Capricorn. And the sun in Capricorn is about masculine fire in the house of career and achievement. And there's something here about justice, wanting things to be equal, fair. Okay. Wow, so there's an ace of coin. There's a gift. There's a gift from the universe. Something is being given. Um, a new opportunity for success or long-term commitments. Could be money. Could be something where it's a one lump sum. Some of you could be dealing with the court system. Four of Cups. Dissatisfaction. Not accepting something, a cup of love. Not accepting somebody's cup of emotions. So it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to accept that. The lovers here, okay. So there's something here about healing. It has to do with blessings. It has to do with love or choices in love, options in love. Okay. I'm going to leave this out so that everybody can see the cards a little better. It could be that you don't like this offer. Lovers comes in wanting a situation to be fair. Ten of Wands. There's something here about having a lot of responsibility, doing something on your own without any help, um, volunteering even, or wanting to do something. Doing something alone. Could be moving, physical, something where you're carrying it all. future energy here we have the devil we have something about manipulation or control or um, oppression can be um, the energy of toxic or obsessions three of pentacles okay so you have the help of a lot of other people this is coming up as your energy you're working with teams you're working with like-minded people who are helping you so you're going to get the support of other people here. Uh, yeah, you're going to get the help. And that's why justice was the main energy. Justice is going to be served in a situation where um, you don't like this offer. You don't like this situation. There could be something dark or toxic or negative, And it's been wearing you down. There's a blessing with this justice. Page of Cups around you. There's going to be a very sweet person. Somebody who offers you their cup and says, you know, here you go. I'm willing to help you. 
10 of coin is what you're hoping for. Money, wealth, ab abundance, long-term commitments, money, wealth, security, family. And the queen of water is the outcome. Follow your intuition. It's energy of emotions and feelings and strong intuition about things. A very sensitive, kind, could be a water sign around you that delivers this message. Page of air, a challenge, somebody who's acting immaturely. You could get a message from someone, um, but there's a, there's a challenge. The person here is clouded. They don't see what they're doing. This could be the person too. There's something here about a toxic situation. Oops. Hanging man. Somebody here is waiting in limbo and their mind is, their imagination could be going over, overboard. Um, Neptune energy of fantasy. <laughs> King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, the energy of financial stability. It could be a masculine adult that you're dealing with who could be stubborn. Let's see. Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, good news, and defensive energy with the Mars energy of standing up for what you believe in. Standing up against something here that you don't like what's being offered. There's a lot of help here with the Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups. There was something that was a disappointment. Three of Wands. You're very motivated to go in a new direction. And the Star card. Okay, so... Things are going to work out in such a way where you can release this and purify yourself and have hope for the future by letting it go and having a fresh start. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so what is this page of cups in the environment? What is the page of cups? Okay, so you get some news and there's nine of swords around that. So the other person or you, somebody is really stressing about something. They're losing sleep over it. What is the queen of cups here? The energy of water, somebody very emotional. Six of coin. Okay, so there's going to be somebody compassionate who is generous. They, it's the energy of um, charity. So there's somebody here who's compassionate. They give to you. They're charitable. They help you out. They give you the ace of coin that you need or that you're wanting. It's coming in. However, what's influencing this is somebody here doesn't want this. What is the devil energy about? Toxic, toxic people even? What is the devil? What is the devil? King of Cups. Somebody's trying to show love. They could be very emotional. What is the three of pentacles here? Could be temptation. Six of Cups. Somebody reaches out to you like a friend. They come in with Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. They could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What is the justice energy for Aries? What is the justice energy for Aries? Justice energy for Aries. Okay, so I got here a lot of information coming in very quickly. Hangman. Something where it was paused. What is the Ace of Coin? Six of Swords. Things are going to get smoother and easier. You're going to come out of a storm with this offer. Okay. 
So why is there a four of cups right here? Dismissive, a lack of interest, not wanting the offer being brought. What is four of cups? Okay, because you don't trust the person. There's a liar with the seven of swords. That's a thief or a liar or someone dishonest. So you're, you're moving on from that energy. The world means there's great success. This is, you've graduated out of this situation. Ace of Cups is on the bottom. A new potential for peace, love, or healing. Okay, so what is this Queen of Cups and Six of Pentacles? Eight of Wands. Something's going to happen very fast. Could be emails. Could be texts. Fire going through the air. Could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. We have here Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, two female energies, and then we have a King of Air. So there could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody very strong, someone who communicates like a lawyer, um, somebody who has enforcement, you know, could be enforcing a boundary. And the High Priestess, there's something hidden, there's a secret. Okay. So what is this Ten of Wands for Aries? Why is Aries carrying the Ten of Wands? Okay, so this person with the Seven of Swords energy is a burden for you. Page of Swords, immaturity. Okay, why is there the Lovers right here? Why is there the Healing or the Lovers right here? Okay, so here we have this Knight of Wands, again, fire energy coming in and the judgment, something being raised up, judged, evaluated, looked at. There's someone around you that you could think that they're a player or a dishonest person. There is a person coming in with King of Cups energy, though, and Six of Cups. So they're reaching out to you like a friend. This person could be a good match for you, King and Queen of Cups. Um, you could be generous to them or they're generous to you. And the cross to this justice, there is an ace of coin. So what is this ace of coin for Aries? What is this ace of coin? Two of swords. A decision you have to make. What is the Two of Swords? Wow, ace, Eight of Pentacles. Looking at the details of a contract or something like that very closely. Um, what is this Four of Cups? Not, not wanting this Ace of Cups. Not wanting it. Or someone doesn't want it. What is the Ace of Cups? What is this Ace of Cups? Six of Swords. Blocking. Moving on. Not could be somebody returning to you. Ten of Cups is on the bottom. It could be a return. Okay. Let's see what comes out for Aries for the next 48. Throw Chakra. Speaking your truth. Somebody delivering a message or you're speaking your truth. For Aries. Helpless and hopeless. Some of you could feel that way, like you don't know what to do. I, once again, I got success and growth. I got that this morning. And then I have here the, em the emperor. Take the lead. Okay. Some of you could be going through a change with nurture and healing begins. Like I said, there's going to be people around you who are supporting you, helping you. Um, there's a night of fire coming in here, delivering you a message. Could be divine timing. Okay, Aries, well, I'm going to leave it here for you. This is your next 48. Thank you so much, and take care.